never seen the Gilmore Girls, but I have seen the Vampire Diaries. So we're going to be reading like Damon Salvatore for a week. I mean, like, but Rory Gilmore, people do videos of reading like her because her character is known as a reader and reads so many different books. And you're correct. But since I haven't seen the show, and I don't really plan on ever seeing the show, but I really love the Vampire Diaries. There are scenes of Damon reading, and I get that most of the time is for comedic relief. That's why he reads New Moon and Fifty Shades of Grey and stuff. But there is an instance, there is at least one book in this video that is more serious. I just thought it would be really fun if we did a reading like Damon Salvatore for a week because I love the show. I just thought it would be a fun video. First book in this agenda is The Twilight Saga. We don't know for sure which book in the saga he's reading. We just know it's not the first one because Caroline tells him. What's so special about this Bella girl? Edward's so whipped. You gotta read the first book first. It won't make sense if you don't. No, it's not Twilight. And Twilight is actually the only book I've read in the saga, and that was like two years ago, and I never felt like rereading it to like remember things. Since I've only read Twilight, I decided to just go ahead and do New Moon next, since that's the next one in the series. So let's just get into it. All right, New Moon check-in. I'm about 20% in. I just started chapter five. All I have to say is I'm really interested to see if my team edward versus team jacob will change if you guys are wondering at least from the movie standpoint and having just read the first book i guess i'd say i'm team edward if i had to pick um just because at least in the movies jacob was giving too much like no means no sir okay like back up like just move on <laughs> you know and so i was just like mm, i'm not that much into jacob in the movies i don't know if that will change in the books though so we shall see but truly i'm team nobody because the codependency gives me the egg y'all know that um even though it's really hard to escape in romance actually if i was bella i'd be team carlisle first of all just saying <laughs> i think he's the better option if we're gonna go for a little vamp vamp okay edward's already like 100 years older than you might as well just full send <laughs> i saw a tiktok a long time ago where someone was saying that um stephanie meyer when she was writing the series she envisioned edward as a young henry cavill and so I'm really trying so hard to envision Edward in that way instead of Robert Pattinson. Because honestly, if Edward was looking like Henry, I could see why she down bad. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, so whenever people do this type of video for Rory Gilmore, they always end up also dressing like her um so i decided to dress like damon damon tends to just wear a lot of like dark neutral colored tops which love that for me because i'm a neutral girly um i just have some jeans on you can't really see i literally have nowhere to go so i'm not putting shoes on but <laughs> it, this is all in my head but if, if damon was a girl i feel like they would have either the dark black hair that damon has or they'd have red hair so i feel like my hair fits the theme <laughs> this is the biggest ring i have <laughs> so this would be my daylight ring so i also have bourbon for this video i'm just kidding it's sweet tea if i see something i haven't seen before i throw a dollar at it dear diary a chipmunk asked me my name today. I told him it was Joe. That lie will haunt me forever. Carlisle, okay? For myself, not for Bella. Bella des doesn't deserve Carlisle, let's be honest. But I do. say that Kristen Stewart couldn't act because she played Bella so like awkwardly and like weird no homegirl can act because Bella is awkward and boring in here too I know you're obsessed with me I have my new Damon outfit and my daylight ring I just have on a sweater and some jeans I did finish new moon last night and I gave it two stars 
it wasn't good. The fact that I gave it two stars is generous, if I'm being completely honest. I think I gave it two because of the nostalgia that the movies have on me. When I think about all the things that happen in New Moon, and then I think about the fact that it was almost 600 pages, my brain wants to explode because like I don't understand how that happened. It could have been 400 max. It was so boring. If I wasn't doing this video, I totally think I would have DNF'd it to be honest with you. So boring. I, it was so boring, okay? <laughs> I didn't have the worst time while reading it, but once I finished it, I just got angry all of a sudden. <laughs> And I was like, I hate this book. I hate it so much that I almost wish I, I had a physical copy just so I could throw it out the window and burn it. That's how much I hated that book. So the next book on the agenda, thank God, <laughs> is one I've actually never heard of um, until the show. What's your favorite book? What? Name a book. Any book. Name a book. How about... Call of the Wild, Jack London. And I don't know anything about this book, but I did just get it on Libby. Everything I'm reading in this video, I got from Libby, okay? Um, but there's a dog on the cover. Is this an old yeller situation that I'm about to walk into? Because if so, I don't want it, okay? I don't think I can handle an old yeller situation. Um... I just read the first chapter. I wasn't ready for the sadness. <laughs> I'm scared. Like if it was gonna be sad, I thought it was gonna be sad in the sense of like old yeller type of vibe, but no, they're giving me freaking the lost days of Appa episodes from freaking avatar the last airbender that's what they're giving me right now and uh, i don't know if i can handle it i'm scared it is considered a lit classic so we're we're being smart okay we're being smart on this type of the internet when i tell you i don't know what's happening i truly don't know what's happening like <laughs> i don't know what's going on i don't know people's names for most of it I don't know whose names is referring to humans and whose names are referring to the dogs. There's a lot I don't know <laughs> while reading this book because I just, my brain can't do it, okay? But the one thing I do know is the sadness is too much. I can't do it. Hey friends, so I finished The Call of the Wild last night and i'm really indifferent about it you know um i think on goodreads i gave it three stars but i don't even know if i should give it that because like i don't know i'm so indifferent about it there was a lot since i went in blind i wasn't aware of like how dark and violent it would be so if i had known that going in then maybe i would have enjoyed it more but i just didn't really see the purpose of the story unless it was to just show that humans are violent <laughs> which it totally could be that but i just i don't know i didn't understand the reason behind writing it i guess i don't really know and then chapter seven um the author kind of <laughs> he kind of puts indigenous people in a bad light which gave me the ick. The, the tribe that is in chapter seven is a made up tribe. So at least it's not like a real one, but I don't know. It kind of made me a little uncomfy with the way he depicted them. Um, I'm not, I'm not native like at all, but like, I don't know. It just gave me the ick a little bit. If you are, definitely tell me your thoughts on that, but it was just, I don't know it felt weird <laughs> but also in the books there are a lot of humans pretty much only one human in the whole book is like nice and good you know every other human in this book 
was terrible and violent so it's not like he wrote it to where this tribe he uh made up is the only violent ones and it's based in like the 1920s so it's probably more accurate um to that time period and how people treated animals and blah 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 or whatever but i don't know <laughs> i don't know i really don't know how to feel about this book so the next and last book for this video you should get on i'm trying this is more than you're doing hey this is a really good book and i have already told myself if i want to dnf this one i totally can because first of all i looked on libby and tell me why this book is just as long as new moon no so honestly i might just read like a chapter or two and call it a day because i'm <laughs> like girl what are you talking about it's literally chapter two and you had one interview style conversation with him that's it <laughs> is giving such insta lovey like this is chapter two i went to finally put the book on my goodreads because i didn't dnf it after two seconds <laughs> and tell me why goodreads says that it's like less than 400 why is libby telling me that it's like 600 pages i'm confused I've been literally complaining so much about this <laughs> and it's not even true <laughs> since it's not as long as I thought it was it's not that bad honestly I just hate being in Anastasia's head and I don't like the writing style <laughs> so if a different author had written it I think I would like it like the plot and stuff you know what I mean like it would be a good little like Kindle Unlimited read you know to like get get maybe get you out of the slump maybe it'll put you in a slump i don't know i think she she's arguably worse than bella yeah i think that's yeah <laughs> hey guys it is tuesday the next day which means i have officially been reading like damon salvatore for a week and last night i did dnf 50 shades of gray when i got to 30 percent in um i did annotate some stuff on the kindle app and i do have it public on my goodreads as well as new moon i did that for new moon as well so if you guys want to see those annotations definitely follow me on goodreads but I DNF'd mainly because I don't think the story itself is necessarily bad. Um, it is a fanfic, obviously, so it's not, like, based on any real plot that E.L. James herself thought of. But for the most part, the story itself isn't necessarily bad. I mean, I didn't really get into any of the BDSM stuff yet. Um, they were still in the middle of, like, negotiating <laughs> their contract or whatever. Um, so I don't really know that realm. But the reason I DNF'd it is because the writing style and being in Anastasia's head was unbearable. Like, I'm not even joking. It was literally the worst thing <laughs> ever. I would rather be in Bella's head is how bad being in Anastasia's head was. Punishment for like a criminal, I feel like. I truly despised it with everything in me. Not only that, I DNF'd the second the whole my inner goddess came into play. I was I was done. Their second round during their first time. Um he he did some stuff with his fingers, you know. Um and then he put said fingers in her mouth and she said she could taste some blood. Immediately no. Should you read like Damon Salvatore? Probably not. But I also know that his taste, who knows what his taste actually would be like because I know New Moon and Fifty Shades is more for comedic relief. But at the same time, he's so like unserious all the time that like maybe this is his <laughs> actual reading taste. Um, I don't know. But obviously the only one that was genuinely like written well was the Call of the Wild obviously because it was a classic um i still didn't necessarily like it because you know the time period of classics just usually always involve something that gives me the ick or is uncomfortable i guess my favorite to read would have to then be new moon 
and I didn't even like that that much. I mean, it at least made me want to watch the movies for nostalgia purposes. So really, New Moon is just writing on nostalgia and nothing else, you know? And at least New Moon, like, it had its own plot, you know? At least Stephanie Meyer thought of a plot, unlike E.L. James, you know? So it is what it is <laughs> anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video style that i did um i think this is the first video i've done where i read like so and so so if you guys want me to do more like that definitely comment down below and give me suggestions if you don't know what to comment and you made it to the end of this video comment down a moon emoji but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i had a fun time um doing it even though i was kind of miserable for some of the books I still had a good time so thank you guys so much for watching make sure you follow me on my socials and i will see you in the next one bye we fit do we fit the vibes yet yeah. hold on i can't do it <laughs> i can't do it how does he how does he get his lips so high up there? I can't do it. Let's try again. I can't do it. I look stupid. Meet me on the street lights. Meet me where the lights fade out. Tell me what it feels like.